Sandy Babb and welcome to my studio. I have um, an Etsy share today. I um, have listed several things in my studio and I wanted to share these loaded paper bag kits with you. Um, if anyone's interested, I will leave my shop link down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I thought I would show you these cute little kits. I've only got two of these left. I'm going to put those to the side and we'll start with all these here. Each one is a different theme. Um, and I was thinking that these could be sort of a deconstructed bag that would be a jump start to doing a junk journal. I've used mostly vintage images on this. Um, different techniques. Each one's unique. There's only one kit like that. Um, there's no repeats. Now the kits do contain sort of the same thing, but kind of, kind of maybe not the same thing. So um, I'm going to put some of these to the side and, and pick out a few to show you. And I'll show you each one individually so you can, um, I think I'll just scooch them back. And we'll focus on some of these at the front. Okay. This is an Uncle Wiggly one. I just think it's so cute. Maybe these need to be out so that there's a little more focus on this. I don't know. It's just a lot of kits. <laughs> there's a lot of kits. Okay, this one is, maybe if I come in, it'll just kind of focus more on this one. This is Uncle Wiggly. Excuse me, I don't want to make you dizzy. Um, from an Uncle Wiggly book. It has um, the paper bag itself. I'm going to pull out some of the stuff and show you the bag. The bag has a background piece up here. It, this is also a pocket. This is a pocket with a little tiny tag. It's got some of the imagery on it. And then the back has a mounted image. Now, my thought was that you could actually take this apart. Like, you could cut this, this whole piece of a bag and put this whole thing in the journal. You could take this back piece off. Or you could just cut this around and make this like a tag or a journaling card. Or, um, you know, you could, you could t cut this off and use this for one piece and then use this pocket to actually put in your journal. Now let's explore and see what all is inside this kit. It's a pretty full kit. Um, we've got, first of all, this cute little flip where you can journal. And it's got this sweet little bunny on it. A little tassel paper that's colorful. Matches the vintage Uncle Wiggly. This is Uncle Wiggly here. He is picking some apples. And this is a little notebook. Then we've got Uncle Wiggly here. A little banner. And this is also a flip out. Or you could glue it together. You could actually glue these sides and make it into an envelope. I did not do that because sometimes I like to let that be the choice of whoever's getting the kit. We've got a cute little paper clip that'll clip onto the side of the page with a little tag, a little sweet tag. We've got a journaling card with Miss Possum on it. And, oh, I think she's a flip now that I'm looking at that. Yes, she is. I, you know, you make these things and you forget. You've got a couple of little um, fabric clusters. Then here is one of the little characters um, from the book. And this flips open and it is full of ready-to-decorate blank tags. And it just folds up into a little booklet. Then you have a fiber pack. That, this one has some lace and hand-dyed um, ribbons and stuff. This is a paper clip here. This, this just comes off a little paper clip. And you get a Tim Holtz pen and a little beaded bobble. There. Let me lift that up. And then, what I did is anything I had left over from 
making this, I have included that all in a glassing bag. If there were images, if there were, you know, anything that I used, papers, anything, this could also enhance your journal page. And this would be a really quick, easy way to decorate a journal. So that's Uncle Wiggly. Let me just, I'm going to pick up just a couple and I'll, I'll kind of thumb through real fast and then I'll show you. Now, not every kit has the same thing on the inside as far as like it all has the same amount of things, but like I might not have made each one a flip, each one a tag, you know, whatever. They're, you know, those things are going to vary a little bit. This is a, a favorite of mine, this little kitchen cooking one with the cherries. I just think it's so cute. And, um, We'll kind of flip through real quick. Vintage of the mom and daughter baking in a little pocket. And then there they are. Whoops. Upside down. There they are baking again. And let's see what we've got in this one. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a quick th flip through of them all. Is there something in there? No. Okay. Again, all the leftovers from this project. Papers. Book page images, whatever I had left, um, you know, that, that goes with it. This one has a little book, a little booklet with some lined paper. I love the baking twine on this one. Um, a large tag. This is some vintage fabric from the 1930, no, 1920s, excuse me, 1920s. And um, <clears throat> another tag. And this is a little, you could either put this in a pocket or you could actually glue it down to your journal. Um, either way. These are vintage, all these little images like this, these are from a vintage 1800 Sears and Roebuck catalog. And they're all like, you know, kitchen, kitchen-ish things. And this you could just tuck something in these little side pockets. Then there is this piece also that opens. Sorry for the distraction. I thought I saw a big shadow and I was trying to figure out what that was. Um, and this has a tag inside it, a hand dyed tag that's ready to decorate. You have a little journaling thing, or you could glue it together for an envelope if you wanted to. Here are some little uh, fabric clusters with some vintage buttons and again lace ribbon rick rack a paper clip a little beaded bobble and a pin and that's what's in the cooking one um, this is one of my favorites too okay they might all be my favorite i don't know this was from a storybook called the green book i believe is what the name of it was from and you have got the top, the bottom, and then this back was just, you know, a solid piece of paper. Inside this one, as I said, we've got some of the same, you know, all your little pieces here, you know, of anything that was left over or used or whatever. All those little pieces, pieces and parts. Oh, and I also had a book page left for that, and I just kind of slid it in there, so there's a book page. This one has a journaling card, and it has the little flip-out writing, well, I think it, it comes out, there it goes, flip-out, and you can write, or you can turn it into an envelope. These things are always fussy. Um, this is a cute little tag, or you could use it for to journal on the back. It has a little bitty tag here, and it has a little file folder top pocket on it, some little banners. This is uh, just a journaling space, and then this is a the matchbook type journaling card. You've got your um, fiber bundle, some cute vintage orange buttons on those clusters, and then here is another little fold out for this one. 
so that's what we've got in there. I'm probably going to need to bring a basket or something in here to put these things in. Here is, um, I'm wondering if I need to split this video up. That's what I'm wondering, because this could get long and wordy. We've got this one. We have our packet of, there was a book page left from this book too. So, um, our packet of goodie leftover paper. Our fiber pack here with some more vintage buttons and all the, the goodies that come with that. This is a paper clip and it is a paper clip pocket, so there is a little tag there that clips to the top of a page. Here is another little floating pocket, and you could either glue it in or tuck it in, you know, however you want to do that. And it also opens up to make it easier to get that card in there. This is, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is a, a piece that you would glue this back piece down to your, oops, back piece down to your journal, and it expands out both ways. This is a flip up and a little booklet and it opens up and it's filled with tags ready to decorate. And a floating pocket or you could glue the pocket in with a tag. It's got some vintage pearl buttons on it on um, embellishing this one. Then we've got another, I'm trying to do all the ones that are kind of colorful together and then all the ones that are, you know, a little different together. Okay, then this one has the part of the storybook. And this is part of the storybook, some vintage buttons. And there's the little dolls on the back. You've got your goodie pack and your fiber pack with your vintage buttons. We've got a little book with the doll, a little booklet. We've got a cute tag with one of the toys, a little teddy bear tag with one of the toys, and I've used vintage buttons on all these. Here's the dolly giving the elephant a bath on her tag. Here is the owl, the wise owl. He is a pocket. You could either float him or put him in. And then here's a tag that goes with him. And then this one's primarily a tag kit. And some of that depended on how much imagery I had. Like this was a, a story in a book and it was two pages long. So all the images were front and back on two pages. So there wasn't a lot to, you know, to choose from as far as that goes. Okay, so that is these six kits here. And the, these are all listed in my Etsy shop. And I think I'm going to cut this video and then do the next set of kits and um, list them, you know, kind of do it separate so you don't have to just sit and look at one huge long video. So um, thank you for joining me and I will see you around the studio.